Welcome back to Hawaii. I'm so excited to be back with you guys because as you have been seeing, a little over a year ago, we stumbled upon this property. It's a gem, but the house, total disrepair, crumbling, falling apart, cockroaches, ew. We are determined to turn this crumbling little slice of paradise into our dream home, and we're taking you guys along with it. And uh, a little something that we were waiting for that was preventing us from starting the renovations, we now have. We got our building permit! We got our building permit! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. this project goes. <laughs> make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit that bell. Then you will be notified when we have a new video coming out. And hopefully you'll get inspired for all of your projects along the way because this is just a totally wild thing we're doing. We jumped in, left the big city, our little family moved to this island and it's the biggest project of a lifetime. And I'm really, really hoping it's gonna work out. <laughs> Can't wait to renovate. There's no time to go on dates. How will it turn out? OMG, we, we bought, bought a house. On an island? Wait, what? It's our dream home. Hopefully. Mom, show me that door. Coming. Yay, Yay we're back. We're back. Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here with us. Oh my gosh, these permits just have us so excited to get started. Obviously, We've been here for like over a year. We've made the house cute and functional with what we have. But if you remember when we started this project, one of the big hurdles that we ran into was finding out after we already moved in, how long the permit process takes here. There's no way we're gonna get permits like sooner than how long? Like six months, you think? I think six months at best. I mean, it could take up to a year. I don't know. It's it's just how it works. As newcomers here, we have just been blown away by how warm everybody is, welcoming us here, and we really want to honor the traditions, honor the land that we are living on here. So before we do anything construction-wise, we are going to bless this project with a traditional Hawaiian blessing. So you guys, what we're going to do outdoors first is we're going to put a little bit of Hawaiian salt. This salt comes from both the island of Maui and the island of Kauai. Our Hawaiian way of thinking is if you honor the land, the land will honor you. And we want to make sure that the house receives the land and your dreams. And what I'd love for you guys to think about is a place that you played at when you were younger. Okay. And so think of your son because this will yeah. be the place that he plays. And yeah. he's going to have great <laughs> memories here. Right? No, this is gonna be so emotional. Malo kia kua me kia aloha pumehana e malama ho o mai kaku he malumau kia kua we place this good paakai, this Hawaiian salt. We ask your aloha spirit to be pono now and forevermore. Now I'm gonna give each one of you one of these mai lele. There's two there. We use that mai lele at very, very important events. And, oh, um, sorry, am I supposed to put it on? You do whatever you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> Eventually, we're going to put it on the door of the house. Oh, okay. But, but for right now, <laughs> you can wear it. Okay. I'm going to use um, also these three tea leaves. Hawaiians would use the tea plant as medicine, oh. as you show to many, many people the opportunity, what they can do at their homes. There's nourishment in that. Oh, oh, so Hawaiians cool. also... Oh, very emotional. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it. it's just very, very... It's uh, meaningful. Kind of, yeah, meaningful. it's meaningful. No, um, like, and then yeah. the third tea leaf I use, we plant it in our yards and it reminds us that we're safe. I'm also gonna use this good rainwater. This rainwater fell from this guy 25 years ago. <gasps> wow. So about 1997, 1998. And the last thing is our good mana. Any house that you've worked on, any house you've lived in, we're gonna put all those good thoughts into this place. I'm thinking back on all of the projects Kate and I have done over the years. We've done hundreds of projects together and I'm really proud of the work we've done. And this is all just a magical moment, starting this project and, and just really feeling like we're home. So now Kiakua, we use this beautiful uh, rainwater 
From 25 years ago, we put this avai right upon this beautiful mailele, and right across this doorway, anybody who has ever walked through this doorway from the day that this house was created, Kiakua, if they brought goodness into this house, it can stay. If they brought pilikia, it cannot stay. For today, a new baby is being born as we bring life to this hale with much aloha. Amene no kiakua apau. Amene, amene, amene. When the two of you are ready, you can take that lay right off the door. We're going to go right inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> One second. Ten. Wait, what? Trying to open the this door. This is why we're renovating because <laughs> nothing works in nothing this Nothing works. Out. There we go. Let's it's go right blessed, inside. But it's a little messed up. Kekwa, as we are going to make changes to this living room, we ask your Aloha Spirit to be Pono. Here's another Ipuka, an entryway. So, Kekwa, we want to make sure that we're Pono for every person who's lived here. Kekwa, just uh, all the Aloha that they have in this place. We always sit and have a meal and then we talk to our children. And so this is a very, very important place. Yes. So again, all your Aloha Spirit, we come into the kitchen. So you guys, I'm gonna give you a little water on your fingerprint. And in the kitchen, I'd like you to think about the best homemade meal you have ever eaten in your life. So I'm gonna give it to you first. Touch that lay. Now go put your fingerprint. Just touch that lay. And think about that, your favorite meal. This is when I start crying again. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna get this emotional because as we're moving through the house, Kahu Kekoa is having us reminisce on times with family, our favorite meals, things like that, and it's really making me miss my family. I wish they were here, but it's also making me excited to spend these wonderful moments with Moon in this home that we're building together, and I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited, and I think this is just the perfect thing to set the tone for this gigantic project. For this room, I'd like you guys to think about the most peaceful, restful night you've ever had in your life. <gasps> and like, that was I slept a while ago. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, the past few years have been really crazy. Sleep has not been our friend over the past <laughs> three plus years. Well, we've had a lot going on. There was the pandemic, then we made the big move. And we oh, had, we like, had a baby these, before that. Oh, we had a baby, all the business stuff. Obviously, if you watched our video last week, there was a you whole situation. You know all the other stuff that's been going on with us, personal stuff, so So it's been yeah. a challenge. Sleep has not been no. bad. <laughs> the only naps we have too are when we do rug cuddles. Mahalo kia kua me kia aloha pumihana e malama o mai ka kuhi maluma. And onto this bed, it reminds them of their marriage they're gonna have. So kia kua. Their wedding. You we're heard married. that, you heard yeah, that. Yeah, we're married, <laughs> we just didn't have a wedding. <laughs> we're we had a courthouse married. wedding. Oh, Don't okay, worry, okay, okay. we, we this, are. This one, Not living in sin. This weird. one doesn't like tradition. Oh, We're, so but maybe. No, I like what? Okay, that is a very broad statement. I like tradition. What do you mean? We're doing this traditional blessing. Don't blow me up like that. <laughs> I like tradition. I just like to be able to choose which ones I'm going to involve myself in. We've been together for 15 years. We are actually married. Technically, we had a courthouse wedding in LA. We never actually had a wedding though, and all of this is just making my wheels spin. I don't know, these last couple of years have just been like sort of weird and, and I know they've been tough on Kate and um, she's been working so hard, like it might be kind of amazing actually to do like some kind of epic wedding. Like, I don't know, go to Europe, come in like on like trapeze and like trumpets are playing. I've already got it planning guys, help me out. Maybe we need to have a Mr. Kate wedding, just saying. So as you go put your salt over there, think about where Moon likes to play and what brings him joy. We have a lot of these brown creatures, so we just <laughs> mahalo them for not living here anymore. Yes, yeah. thank yeah. you. Let's get that last bathroom, because that one's been sort of a journey mm. with this house. Okay, so Kiakua, again, whether it's plumbing. It's plumbing. Plumbing. I know you guys said that um, you didn't really have a wedding, but I'd like you guys to face one another. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Now Joey's crying. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is not a wedding, but this is a blessing for the two of you Aww, in your relationship. Nice. So, Kia Kauai, do us do a blessing over Joey and Kate. Your Aloha Spirit to be Pono. Bring goodness, bring life, bring health, uh, bring six children. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wiggle your fingers. Yeah. You two, you're always on the go. You always have something else you can do, somebody else you can help. Mm -hmm. So that's what that motion was for. But it also put the water back in my bowl, so thank you very much. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for the aloha that you feel. You might not have the koko, the Hawaiian blood, but you have the aloha spirit within you. Oh, 
Alam, mahalo nui. Thank you Thank so much. much. Mm-hmm. Thank you, thank you. I just feel like I can finally let out an exhale because we just had this really heartfelt blessing. It just feels like the perfect thing to mark the start of what is so exciting. It's go time! Demo! Do you want a sledgehammer or something? Are you guys gonna start it? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you give your blessings and we're gonna hit this thing. Okay. All right. You wanna touch that? Okay. Touch your blessing. All right, you're blessing it. Uncle's gonna just hit this thing. All right. Yeah! Wow! Yeah! 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 There we go. It feels so good to just be able to get all of this stuff out of here. I know these are some of the projects we already worked on since we moved in. They were just sort of like temporary fixes. I'm not even bummed we're getting rid of them because the stuff we're going to do in this entire property is going to be epic. So get it out of here. We're moving on. We're moving up. This tile, I'm excited to put a sledgehammer on. It looks like mold, like it looks like a petri dish. I'm so ready to demo this bathroom. This bathroom has been just like such a headache for us. All right, you get the toilet, I'll get the shower. Huh? You get the no, toilet. I do you want not. your gloves? No, that toilet I'm is like I'm getting your gloves, busted. you're getting the toilet. The sewer pipe is busted. There's been too many years of poop in this toilet. <laughs> Joey. Joey! Look at Ew! that. Here's the moment of truth. to the island, they say. <laughs> Here's the moment. <laughs> This is yours. No, this is mine. This one's smaller. What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, the crew's here. <laughs> They're all gonna turn around and leave when they come <laughs> up here and see us. Everything is happening. We've assembled an incredible team. Everything is arriving. The giant windows and doors are arriving and giant crates and we have lumber arriving. We got a purple porta potty because why not? Couldn't get a regular porta potty, of course, because it's Kate. Had to get a purple porta potty. By the way, that's like dirt, not blood. That looks kind of sketchy. <laughs> this is not a small project. Our plan is to totally gut renovate this back house so that we can move into there while we then gut and renovate the front house. We're donating what we can appliances, old windows, doors, maybe reusing some but we have a big plan for this to be just a design oasis for friends and family and of course, us too, to enjoy. Hi, I'm Christian. I'm one of the subcontractors on this project. I was born and raised in Hawaii and I've been doing construction and carpentry my whole life. My name is Jaden, I'm 19 years old. I just started working construction, but it's been real good. I learned a lot from just this project. Working with Kate and Joey is fun, even though they change their minds all the time. We had a couple walls that we moved about three or four times, but hopefully we got it right this time. <laughs> Let there be light. I'm just trying to make windows and doors as entertaining as possible, I guess. Okay, so no, 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 don't go to the wall. I'm just trying to see like what size rug. Wait, you know what? I'm just gonna bring a rug in here right now. It'll help me visualize. You're gonna bring a rug in here right now? It's so dirty in here. It's okay, we'll shake it out. I already know this one's gonna be too small, but it's, was the, okay. <laughs> I already know. Are we doing a, a rug cuddle in the uh, <laughs> shell of the new house? <laughs> sure. That's a good idea. I can already see it. With the, sh- oh, the open ceiling, the new window. It's going to be so nice. Definitely needs a rug pad. <laughs>
All right, so we experienced a pretty big budget moment today. We were wanting to redo the plumbing in here, obviously, because we haven't been able to use uh, the bathrooms in here because the plumbing was just like constantly backing up. We just weren't sure how extensive it was, so we're running cameras now down into the sewage pipes just to assess and see what we can do. Hopefully, it's not too big of a deal. The pipes are so disintegrated. There is just no salvaging them. So what was supposed to be a $5,000 thing has now turned into a $15,000 thing. This was not planned. This was not budgeted, okay? <laughs> we were going to just explode the new sewer pipe, which basically means you put in a new lining to repair a broken old sewer pipe. It was way too old and broken for that though, so we need to replace the entire sewer line, hence the reason why I am standing in a three foot <laughs> deep ditch that gets even deeper going down our driveway. Oh my gosh. The perk of this is that this house is gonna have like at least another 50 years on it when we're done, except we're gonna have to potentially sacrifice the roof. No, no, the roof is so fugly, guys. But the truth is, is we had a roofer come look at it and he said the roof is in good condition. So we, yeah, but we can't spend, we can't spend thousands of dollars on the sewer and then also spend thousands of dollars on the roof and also spend thousands of dollars on this stuff and this stuff and this okay, stuff and this stuff. Like, ding, 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 it's all adding up. I'm really, really worried about our budget because this, like guest house is where we're establishing a lot of the style that we're then gonna try to implement like giant on the big house. Uh -huh. And if we cannot do something to the roof, like that is going to tie my hands so much design wise. Yeah, that's what you're good at though. You're good at solving problems. At least the yard looks good. The yard looks good? <laughs> yeah. We did a rug cuddle in our construction zone, so it's happening. So every Wednesday is our plan. We're gonna work our hardest to get you guys new episodes every Wednesday. We have obviously so much to do, so many design decisions to make. I'm so excited. We'll show you a little tidbit of what's to come, but first, before we do that, hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sure your notification bell is turned on. Ding, ding. And uh, yeah. let's see what's to come. Coming up on OMG, we bought a house. Go! Oh. Ah! All right, we're looking for basically everything for the kitchen. I want to do the back countertop, like the L. Tile with, with like, joints. This coral green's kind of nice in a weird, pukey kind of way. For sure. No, what? I'm done educating you. Mom thinks that we want this sink. Mom wants it! Oh, oh, oh. What is this white pipe sticking up? That's the clean out. Why is the sewer in my outdoor shower? No rocks and pipe. I already put one in. <laughs> Mom, someone's at the door. Mom, someone's at the door. Mom, someone's at the door. Mom, the doorbell. Mom, door. Mom, the doorbell. <laughs>